Are you a graduate in the field of biochemistry and you want to know about the career scopes after the BSc as well as MSc in the field of biochemistry? Have you recently completed your MSc in biochemistry or your bachelor's in biochemistry and you want to know about the examinations, the job profile and the salary that is available after the immediate degree that you have done? Are you fresh and you are seeking for job opportunities? Here I am Diksha Shandelu from Biotechnica and I shall be helping you in giving you some top insights about the career path and scope after doing your BSc as well as MSc in the field of biochemistry. So I shall be enlisting eight important parameters and they, they are firstly I shall be discussing about the introduction part then I shall be talking about the job profile that are available after the bachelor's as well as master's in biochemistry then I shall be talking about the job aspects if you can do a being a researcher if or how you can be a researcher how you can give a competitive examination what will competitive examinations are available i will be then talking about the employment areas after doing your msc in the field of biochemistry then i shall be talking about the government institutions where you can go for studying the further like uh, degree of any uh, of working in the field of biochemistry and also about the top companies if you want to get recruited in the companies that are associated in the field of biochemistry at last i will be giving you about the average salary that are being offered by each one of them so here i shall start with the introduction part so here we are talking about the biochemistry part so biochemistry is the domain of life sciences where we shall be talking about the biological dynamics so biochemistry deals with the biological dynamics cell and molecular physiology applied biology physical and molecular chemistry biochemical methods and laboratory techniques analytical tools and instrumentation as well as the calculus or mathematical part so these are the uh, allied area of biochemistry these are the subjects that are being covered in the field of biochemistry so if you have done your masters or bachelors in the field of biochemistry you must have been through these topics these dimensions in the field of biological sciences so here based on these dimensions there are a lot of job opportunities there are a lot of career options that are available because you have been trained in the field of biochemical test techniques instrumentation applied biology synthetic as well as molecular chemistry as well as the biological dynamics physiological part of the biological sciences so now we are going to the job profile so the most common job profile i'm talking about after doing your bsc and msc in biochemistry are research scientist project associate research and development assistant lab technician pharmacologists being a professor quality controller and chemists so these uh, like uh, positions will vary from your bachelor's as well as master's like for becoming a uh, like a research scientist you should have a master's degree for becoming a project associate also you, can, you should have a master's degree preferably you could to become a an R&D assistant it depends on the company or the institution where you're applying you can apply after bachelor's also after master's also for lab technicians both master's and uh, like uh, bachelor's are applicable for pharma pharmacologist if you have been in a bachelor's after bachelor's if you want a good position it won't be available you should go and do a master's for good positions for being a professor you should have a higher degree for becoming a quality control analyst bachelor's and master's both are okay and for becoming a chemist preferably a master's degree so these are the job profile that you are available common job profile that are available after doing your master's or bachelor's in the field of biochemistry now we are coming up to the research part that you can become a researcher you can suddenly become a researcher after being uh, like exposed to the techniques as well as the relevant discipline in the field of biochemistry so research is a separate domain because every part if you go to any subject any part of the subject be it life sciences mathematical sciences physical sciences or even the arts so you have always an option of doing research everywhere this option is open so it is one of the most important dimension of the career scope that is available after any of the degree that you relevant degree that you get especially the higher degree so you can always go for research so after here i will be talking about the research options after you do your master's in the field of biochemistry so after being uh, doing a master's in the field of uh, biochemistry you can become a researcher in the government research institutions and these research institutions are can be either csir lab icmr lab dst lab dbt lab or any lab okay so these are the government research institutions which are funded by these agencies then we are, you can go to any central state university like uh, delhi university banaras hindu university gv pantnagar university any central state university you can go for ms research because you want to be a researcher you should have if you have masters done if you want to further continue your research then you have to get some more relevant degree in the field of research so you can go for any ms research option you can go for mphil in biochemistry but better to go for ms research and then you can go for pursuing a 
पी एच डी डिग्री सो लाइक एम फिल ना नाउ डिज हैज बिन नॉट लाइक इन दैट मच ट्रेंड सो यू कैन गो फॉर एम एस रिसर्च और यू कैन गो फॉर परसुइंग अ पी एच डी डिग्री सो दीज डिग्रीज विल हेल्प यू दिस थिंग्स विल हेल्प यू टू बिकम अ रिसर्चर सो यू कैन गो फॉर दीज लाइक ऑप्शन और यू कैन इधर वर्क एज अ प्रोजेक्ट एसोशिएट जे आर एफ फेलो और एनी रिसर्च एसोशिएट इन गवर्नमेंट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूशन और यू कैन ऑल्सो वर्क इन द सेंट्रल और स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी एज अ प्रोजेक्ट फेलो नाउ दिस वॉज अबाउट हाउ यू कैन डेवलप योर करियर एज अ रिसर्चर नाउ वी आर कमिंग अप टू दी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन पार्ट सो सिंस यू हैव कम्पलीटेड योर बैचलर्स और मास्टर्स देर आर सम कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन हियर आई विल टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनली ऑल इंडिया कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन दैट आर अवेलेबल आफ्टर यू डू योर बैचलर्स इन और मास्टर्स इन बाई केमिस्ट्री सिंस मोस्ट ऑफ द एलिजिबिलिटी विल नॉट बी स्पेसिफिकली फॉर बाई केमिस्ट्री देर वुड बी एन हाइब्रिड एलिजिबिलिटी दैट एम एस सी बायो टेक्नोलॉजी बाई केमिस्ट्री फूड टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट ऑल द एस्पेरेंट टू कम एंड गिव द एग्जामिनेशन एंड सिमिलर इज इन द केस ऑफ बी एस सी ऑल्सो सो एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर बाई केमिस्ट्री देर इज नो सच स्पेशल एग्जामिनेशन बट आई यू कैन गिव अदर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल इंडिया लेवल एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज एप्लीकेबल एंड एलिजिबल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कम्पलीटेड देयर मैचलर्स एज वेल एज मास्टर्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री सो यू कैन गो फॉर गैट बी एग्जामिनेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पॉज यूर डिग्री इन बायो टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द सो यू कैन गो फॉर बैट गैट बी एग्जामिनेशन दिस इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कम्पलीटेड देयर बैचलर्स इन बायो केमिस्ट्री नाउ यू कैन गो फॉर आई टी जैम ऑल्सो अगेन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कम्पलीटेड देयर बैचलर्स इन बायो केमिस्ट्री दे कैन गो फॉर सी एस आई एंड स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कम्पलीटेड their masters in biochemistry go for csi and net grf examination icmr grf examination dbt grf any examination you can go then competitive examination such as upsc this is for the government recruitment so i shall be mentioning about this part in another uh, like uh, section also but i just given insight because some of the uh, like uh, upsc conducts some of the vacancy examination as well as interview for the posts of uh, toxicologist forensic sciences or many posts that are available and applicable for the students who have completed their msc in biochemistry also so here you can go for any upsc based examination based on the vacancy that is available also you can give graduate aptitude test for engineering gate examination a very reputed examination so you can get a gate degree and you can go for phd or mtech in the field of biotechnology as well as the biochemistry application field in iits or isc so now we are done about the competitive examination we shall be talking about the employment areas that are available after doing your masters or bachelors in the field of biochemistry so some of the employment areas are you can go and work in a biology like biotechnology firm because you are having a like a, a applied biology degree and interdisciplinary aspect of biology so being in an interdisciplinary aspect you can go for any biotechnology firm for example cipla so you can go for any biotechnology firm you can go for any diagnostic center where you can go work in a biochemical test that are being come performed or any applied biology tests that are being performed so for example lal path labs then you can go for any college or university where you can teach being a lecturer being a professor being a like a tutor you can be an mphil phd whatever you want you can go to a pharma company and you can always work as a chemist as a pharmacologist in a pharma company suppose that like for example dr reddy's laboratories you can go for any medical equipment manufacturing company where there is a manufacture of the like uh, medical equipment since you have been exposed to the instrumentation and analytical section also you can go for any medical equipment manufacturing companies for example elder health care limited or you can go for government organization also there are many public sector undertakings such as drdo is there bharat biotech there is there other public sector undertakings are also there they will recruit jrf they will recruit technical positions they will they will recruit for project positions based on your desired experience that you want if you have completed there especially preferably masters in bio like biochemistry or you can go for any central government medical department like the forensic department or the healthcare department department icmr healthcare department you can go for any government medical department where they will be hiring the post based on the vacancies available so you can search for these vacancies on the website or on the you can subscribe to any newsletter you can subscribe to biotechnica also for any job opportunities that are upcoming now we are done with the employment areas we shall be talking about the government institutions that are available so some of the top government institutions where you can go and pursue your further studies in the field of bio like biochemistry also you can go pursue your research if you want to do a phd if you want to do an mphil you can go to these institutions and they have a very good active research occurring in the field of biochemistry they have very good department of biochemistry so you can go to these departments and pursue your research dream so one of them some of them are indian institute of science bangalore iits you can go to any right they have a very good bio process or biochemical engineering department they have a good biochemical engineering department or they have good 
department related to in, enzyme processing and all those departments so if you are in like a synthetic development department you want to go to those department you can go to iits you can go to ncbs bangalore they also have a good uh, like uh, work or doing doing on the field of uh, like uh, biochemistry you can go to aims new delhi they have less of seats but they have a really good biochemistry department you can go to uh, university of hyderabad university of delhi so these are the government institutions that have a very good biochemistry department now we are coming to the top companies the top companies which are working exclusively and relevantly in the field of biochemistry so some of the top companies are biolegend azeta arcus biosciences nucleox limited twin strand biosciences uh, including then ingenza then cyrus biotechnology and then we are they having this top companies in our mind because we need to get like there are many pharmaceutical companies so it's not, not like that you are having a, a masters degree in the field of biochemistry that means you can only go to biochemistry companies also no it's always like you can go for any company pharmaceutical company biotechnology firm healthcare firm you can go to any but here i have just mentioned some top of the companies actively working in the field of biochemistry because I have been talking about biochemistry, and so I have to highlight those companies which are working in the field of biochemistry because they will always have their research work. They will always have their active recruitment as well as active research in the field of biochemistry. So these are some top companies. You can go to their website and you could check for vacancies that are available. And if you need any like assistance, you can ask for their help desk number. You can ask for any person on the LinkedIn who is working like in this firm. You can go and ask them, and you can apply to a suitable position that you desire. Are. so these are about the top companies now coming up to the average salary now the some of the top uh, notch positions in the field of uh, like uh, biochemistry after doing your relevant degree bsc or masters in biochemistry some of the uh, i am in only enlisting some of the top uh, or some of or some of the most sought positions that are available and their average salary so the first is research assistant so if you have want to become a research assistant i am talking about the like the salary that is being offered it's not the highest salary it's kind of an average salary which you can get and it depends upon the experience the type of institutions where you are working your research, like sort of degree that you have your skills and employment skills these are very much important factor that uh, decides your annual ctc so you can become a research scientist and it, the salary of research scientist is 6.6 lakh per annum you can become a project associate uh, the salary is 4 5 lakh per annum r&d assistant 4 to 5.5 lakh per annum lab technician 2.5 to 4.5 again this is based on experience initial salary would be 2.5 or 3 only then you can go for pharmacologist pharmacologist salary is 5.12 lakh per annum uh, the salary of a professor is average is 10 lakh per annum Qual but again it requires experience then quality and also uh, like uh, sol solving and uh, appearing in many examination cracking those national level entrance examination relevant to the lecturership positions then you can go and become a quality controller the average salary of a quality controller is 3.97 lakh and also depends upon the experience if you go into quality control department if you are having a experience you go to higher rank your salary uh, will also improve so again it is depending upon the experience the type of employment that you are getting the institution which where you are getting an employment the skills and employable skills you have these are the parameter that decide your salary and the starting salary will always be less and it will always start it will always end with a good like amount so these are the starting salary and depends upon your interest also what you want to do if you want to go for any industrial position you want to go for any lecture supposition you want to become a scientist you want to become a quality control analyst you want to become a lab technician you want to become a chemist you what is your preference it preference you want to become a research fellow so it depends upon that and salary varies now you can become a chemist and the average salary of chemist is 4 lakh per annum so these are about the salary inside of some of the <coughs> top notch positions some of the most sought positions after doing your msc and bsc in biochemistry and now you can think about these positions you can think about the relevant discipline what you want so i discussed about all of them i discussed about the introduction job profile the research uh, scope that is available the competitive exam available the employment area what you can get government institutions that have good departments top companies working in the field of biochemistry and the average salary offered uh, based on the some of the top notch job profiles so here I discussed about uh, the career scope and path after BSc and MSc in biochemistry. I enlisted eight pointers. So you have any doubt, anything? Please mention in the comment box below. I will be really helpful to help you guys. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video.